My name is Arvind. I'm a PhD student in computer science at the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. Today I'll be presenting our work on graph neural networks for friend ranking in large-scale social networking platforms. This work was done in collaboration with Yuzin, Jun, and Neil from SNAP. Friend suggestion or recommending people you may know to encourage users to expand their networks is a cornerstone of social networking that is prevalent across diverse social platforms such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Snapchat, and others. Friend suggestion plays an important role to improve user connectivity, retention, and to promote engagement within the platform. Learning latent user representations through graph representation learning has recently become increasingly important in modeling user behavior. Graph representation learning models learn a vector space representation for nodes such that structurally similar nodes are embedded close together. These models have prominent applications in multiple academic settings such as node classification, link prediction, and community detection. Recently, graph representation learning models have also shown promising results in a few industrial recommender systems in e-commerce, content discovery, and food delivery applications. In our work, we have a social network that indicates the graph connectivity and interactions among different users. And our goal is to inductively generate embeddings from nodes, which are also users, over a temporally evolving social graph containing over millions of nodes and billions of timestamped edges. Graph neural networks are one of the most popular end-to-end -end frameworks for graph representation learning. GNNs learn node representations combining both graph topology and node and edge attributes and have shown to be effective for a variety of data mining applications. GNNs can be formulated as a message passing framework with two key steps. They first define a propagation range for each node based on their key hop local neighborhoods. Then they aggregate and propagate information from each node across the links within that range to compute node information, node representations. GNNs learn node embeddings to optimize specific training objectives such as unsupervised training where nearby nodes have similar embeddings and supervised training objectives where the embeddings would learn class distinctions. In the past, very few industrial systems have developed large-scale GN implementations. One recent system, PinSage, develops GNNs for item recommendations over a bipartite graph. GNNs have been relatively unexplored in large-scale social applications involving pairwise user interactions. In uh, our work is one of the first to investigate GNN design for the task of friend suggestion in social platforms. Compared to academic datasets, sparsity challenges are typically exacerbated in industrial social graphs. We typically observe scale-free networks with heavy tail degree and activity distributions, which poses two key challenges. The first challenge is structural sparsity, where we have access to limited structural information for most users. This is because most users have very few friends. The second challenge is interaction sparsity, where a very small fraction of users communicate and actively form friendships at any given time. In modern social platforms, users interact with a variety of different functionalities and communicate in different groups. We use this information in our work to overcome these, these structural and interactional sparsity challenges. In our work, we formulate friend suggestion as multifaceted friend ranking on an evolving friendship graph with multimodal user features and pairwise link communication features. The friendship graph is modeled as a continuous time dynamic graph with the expressivity to record friendships at the finest possible temporal granularity. In contrast, they represent features as a sequence of daily snapshots since such features are commonly extracted by routine bad jobs and are populated in an upstream database at regular time intervals. In total, we extract four modalities of user features which include Profile attributes that are a set of mostly static demographic features like age, gender, and location. In-app content interest describing the textual content viewed or posted by the user. Friend creation and engagement activities that include aggregated number of friend requests, reciprocated friendship suggestions, and indirect interactions with other users. In addition, we have pairwise link features that, com that capture direct communications of users with other users in the platform. In our work, we design a graph neural network architecture, GraphRank, to capture knowledge from multiple user feature modalities and the pairwise interactions. Now that we've formulated the problem of multifaceted friend ranking in social platforms, we now present an empirical analysis 
to investigate attribute homophily with respect to the different feature modalities. This provides us insights into various factors that impact friendship formation and guide our model design. Later, we'll introduce the key technical details of our framework graph map, followed by experimental results and our conclusion. To understand if modality homophily varies across different users, we analyze the homophily distribution over modalities at the granularity of individual users. For each user, we compute a homophily score with respect to modality K based on the average cosine similarity of attributes over all the fronts. We first represent each user by a k-dimensional vector that describes the homophily distribution over the k modalities. Then we cluster the users based on their homophily distributions over the k modalities. The left figure shows the overall modality homophily scores, which reveals that users exhibit different extents of homophily across the different modalities. The right figure shows five representative cluster centroids. The homophily distribution over the modalities varies significantly across different user segments. This is indicated by the variation across the different clusters. Next, we ask if the k different modalities induce the same subsets of homophilous friends for each user, or rather, how are the friends that exhibit homophily within each modality correlated? To look at this, we cluster the ego network of each user with respect to each modality k and compare the clustering results across different pairs of modalities. We measure consensus in clustering results using two metrics, normalized mutual information and adjusted rand index. So these two measures are designed to capture pairwise correlation across pairs of modalities. Our analysis shows the existence of non-trivial correlations between pairs of modalities indicated by the consensus in their induced ego network clusters. Motivated by these insights, we now introduce the key components of our graph rank model for friend ranking. Our architectural choices in designing a multimodal GNN follow directly from our empirical observations. Since the different modalities vary in their extent of induced homophily from observation 1, we treat each modality individually to learn modality-specific user representations. This is in contrast to the popular choice of combining all features by concatenation. More specifically, we learn a set of k modality-specific neighborhood aggregators to compute k intermediate user representations. The second observation reveals the existence of cross-modality correlations. To learn complex nonlinear correlations between different modalities, we design a cross-modality attention layer to compute the final user representation by combining the intermediate modality-specific representations by capturing the discriminatory facets of each modality. The first module is modality-specific neighborhood aggregation. For each modality k, we look up the time-sensitive user features and propagate messages from sampled friends in the ego network. The messages m, u, v are parameterized by the user features in the kth modality and the link communication features e, u, v. These are weighted using the friendship weights alpha, u, v, t for friend u on user v at time t. Finally, the layer output Z UK for user U in this modality is computed by aggregating messages from the sampled friends combined together with the self-representation of the user U using a dense layer F theta. We empirically observe that most users communicate only with a subset of their friends, around 20%, which makes friend influence modeling critical during neighborhood aggregation. To flexibly prioritize different friends in the neighborhood based on their friendship activeness, we compute the influence weight for each friend V using an attention module, which is parameterized by the features of user U, friend V, and the link feature EUV. We find that communication-aware message passing results in a significant boost in the friend ranking performance. The second module, cross-modality attention, learns nonlinear correlations between different modalities using attentional coefficients beta uk to distinguish the influence of each modality k. The overall framework of graph rank is composed of k modality specific neighborhood aggregators followed by the cross modality attention module to compute the final user representation. The model is trained using a time sensitive pairwise ranking loss over the final user embeddings. This ranks the inner product of positive links higher than sample negatives by a margin factor of delta. We consider two key use cases in friend suggestion, candidate retrieval and candidate ranking. Retrieval aims to generate 
a list of say top 500 potential friend suggestions out of a very large candidate pool spanning millions of users. Well, candidate ranking involves fine-grained re-ranking within a much smaller pool of generated candidates to determine the top 10 suggestions or so to, to be shown to end users in the platform. For the coarse-grained task of retrieval, we consider randomly sampled negatives for pairwise ranking, which is very efficient and quite effective in practice. For fine-grained ranking, we adopt a two-phase learning approach with pre-training on random negatives to identify good model initializations and fine-tuning on hard negatives. We now briefly present our key empirical results. We conduct experiments on two friend suggestion tasks, retrieval and ranking. We adopt the standard negative sampling-based evaluation procedure. To simulate retrieval from a large candidate pool, we rank each positive pair in the test set against 10,000 randomly sampled negatives. Ideally, candidate ranking should operate over a shortlisted set of potential friends that has been identified by the upstream retrieval system. But in order to ensure a fair benchmark comparison of different models, we instead generate 500 hard negative samples based upon KHOP local neighborhoods of each user. We experiment on two large-scale social network datasets from Snapchat across two geographical regions. We compare graph rank against strong feature-based ranking models logistic regression, multilayer perceptron, and an XG boost ranker. We also compare against state-of-the-art graph neural network models based on graph convolutional networks, attention networks, and different choices of neighborhood aggregators based upon graph sage. We use multiple ranking metrics for evaluation, NDCG, hit rate, and mean reciprocal rank. We find that graph rank significantly beats state-of-the-art approaches with around 30% performance gains on candidate retrieval and over 20% on candidate ranking. We next examine the impact of different model training strategies. The first one is training on just random negatives, the second involves training on just hard negatives, and the third one involves pre-training on random negatives followed by fine-tuning on hard negatives. We observe that random negative training achieves the best results for retrieval, but performs poorly on candidate ranking. We see that these models lack the resolution power to distinguish among candidates for the fine-grained task of re-ranking. However, training on hard negatives alone improves candidate ranking performance as expected, but results in very poor retrieval performance. This shows that learning fine, distinct, fine distinctions is actually detrimental for candidate retrieval. And the third strategy of fine tuning results in much better results for candidate ranking due to better model initializations, but that model is actually ineffective for candidate retrieval. We have also attempted a curriculum training strategy with a combination of both random and hard negatives, but we find that this strategy consistently performs worse than all of the above three strategies. So we have excluded it from our current results. We now qualitatively analyze model performance across user segments with varied node degree and friending activity levels. Here, node degree represents the number of friends for each user, and friending activity denotes the number of friend requests sent or received in the past 30 days. We divide the set of test users into groups independently based on their degree and activity levels. We find that overall model performance increases with node degree due to the availability of more structural information, and especially the knowledge of pairwise communications during message passing in our model graph rank enables it to achieve much better results for low to medium degree users. With respect to friending activity too, we observe a similar trend for all models with increasing activity levels, but we see that especially our model has significantly better performance in the less active user segments. This is primarily due to its multifaceted modeling of different user actions within the platform, which helps it to overcome the lack of sufficient interaction information. We now conclude our presentation. In this work, we have formulated friend suggestion in social platforms as multifaceted friend ranking with multimodal node features and pairwise link features. We have presented a neural architecture graph rank with two key modules, mod modality specific neighborhood aggregation and cross modality attention. Our approach outperforms state of the art baselines on friend candidate retrieval and ranking by significant margins of 30% and 20%. Notably, GraphRank also achieves larger performance gains for the critical population of less active and low degree users. Our code is available on GitHub for public usage. Thank you. Thanks for listening and please do let me know if you have any questions.